What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG, and for the first time in a while, we actually got a Sixers video. But before we get into everything, if you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, here's what we're going to talk about. So, there have been rumors out there. So, we all know how Joel Embiid has been having issues with his, basically, what we're looking at is like his lower body to his ankle. And what the question is going to be for tonight is, should Joel Embiid start tonight against the Detroit Pistons? So, we're going to talk a little bit about that and then make a final decision. So, for... The Philadelphia 76ers considered a, if I'm not mistaken, a 2-2 two and two team or a 3-1 and one team. It's one of those two options against the team in the Detroit Pistons, which, if I'm not mistaken, does not have a win yet. And not only that, not only do I believe the Detroit Pistons do not have a win, they do not have two of their best players in Kate Cunningham, the rookie, the rookie they drafted, Kate Cunningham, and then Jeremy Grant, their power forward. So that is two key. Those are two key players that the Detroit Pistons are missing and are going to be missing for tonight against the 76ers. Now, in terms of the 76ers, when you have Joel Embiid, you already have Joel Embiid on there. You obviously have two five, aka Ben Simmons, quote unquote, on there. You have Shake Milton on there, who could come off as well to play some point guard, play some forward a little bit. And you have Grant Ryler, which he's really not that important because he is mainly with the cleanup, which what I like to call the cleanup crew. He's mainly with those guys. And I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. So those are the injury reports, and those are some of the main guys from the Pistons that are going to be out in Cade Cunningham and Jeremy Grant. And then for us, 2-5, a.k.a. Ben Simmons, quote-unquote, and Shake Milton. So, here's the question for tonight. Should Joel Embiid play when he has already had this type of injury experience? Here's what I'm going to say, and Sixers fans, you're not going to like it. I'm going to say this. The Sixers honestly should rest Joel Embiid for this game. And I know you guys are like, Oh no, we don't need uh, Joel Embiid to play. Joel Embiid should play every game of the season. We need Joel Embiid to play every game to do whatever it takes to go ahead and win the Eastern Conference. We need Joel to be Embiid to play every game and play as much as he possibly can. No, you don't need Joel Embiid to play every game. Here's my reason why. Joel Embiid has already been through all of this madness of injuries he's mainly had it to his leg down to his ankle he has had it from mainly on his legs he's had injuries to his legs where it goes from his leg down to his ankle is where Joel B has had a lot of injury history down there and especially in terms of the from the playoffs last year I mean and when you look at I think it was one of the Lakers games last year I think he got into one of those games and absolutely messed up his ankle. I think in the in the one game against the Wizards in the first round last year, he had his ankle messed up and his knee. And then in the and then in the series against the Hawks, he wasn't 100, percent which is why we didn't win that Hawks series. And now we're going into a situation where we have to decide if Joel Embiid should play tonight's game against the Detroit Pistons. And I said no, and. I think that Joel Embiid needs to rest at least the next three games. Because the next three games are not really two tough opponents, but they're not the weakest either. We got the Pistons tonight. One of them is the is the Portland Trail Blazers, and the other one... I forget what the other one is, but anyway, they're much e easier teams than our fourth game coming up. Which our fourth game after those three is the Chicago Bulls, who have been looking really decent this year with Zach Levine, Lonzo Ball, DeMar DeRozan, Nikola Vucevic. 
They have been looking really decent, and they're four and zero, guys. These guys are four and zero. They're four and zero, and that is a solid squad right there. And I will admit, the Bulls had a really good off season in terms of what they needed to do. They have, they already have Zach Levine, they already have Nikola Vucevic, and they add Lonzo Ball and Demar Derozan. So they are stacked with the starters, and that's where I think Joel Embiid. I think he has to come back because. In that game against the Chicago Bulls, I'm not sure if Andre Drummond is going to be able to handle Nikola Vucevic all game long for that game. But that's getting a little bit ahead of myself. So, anyway, in my personal opinion, I don't think Joel Embiid should start for tonight's game against the Pistons. Besides, we are going against a Pistons team without Kate Cunningham and Jeremy Grant. Two key players for that team that honestly just are too... A in my opinion, their best players, especially Cade Cunningham, who was great from the draft last season. It was a good pickup for the Pistons, which we pretty much knew that the Cade Cunningham was going to be the first overall pick. So, at the end of the day, I don't think Joel should start, but I'm hoping Andre Drummond can take Joel Embiid's place, play that that play that center role, and play at the five position. And hopefully lead the the Sixers center squad. Behind him would be Charles Bassey. And I would assume that Paul Reed would get some run over there. Maybe Jordan's Niang get some, get some run at the five position to play small ball center. But at the end of the day, Joel Embiid should not start in my opinion. And I know Sixers fans are not going to like that. But you got to give the man rest. When this man literally goes up and gets injured, it's not a good thing for the Sixers because when you have an injured man like Joel Embiid, he's your main factor and can honestly, he would, he changes every game. He changes every game for the Sixers, especially when he's at 100%. I want Joel to play. I understand that. I want Joel to play too, just like every Sixers fan that's watching this video right now. But you have to let the man play at 100%. If this man is not at 100%, I don't need Joel to play. Give him the give him the rest day off and give him some time to recover from his lower body injury that he's been having and let Andre Drummond go ahead and back him up. I also hope that Andre Drummond does not get injured either because there have been rumors saying that Andre Drummond has been injury prone and I am hoping that Andre Drummond does not get injured either because that would have to... Have us rely on either Charles Bassey or Paul Reed playing small ball center. Or George's Niang eventually starting at small ball center. And we don't need that. But I think Andre Drummond can have what it takes to win this game tonight against the Detroit Pistons. Play at the 5 and hopefully he'll put up some decent points on the board. Obviously the rest of your starting lineup is going to be the same. Tyrese Maxey at the 1. Seth Curry at the 2. Danny Green at the 3, Tobias Harris at the 4, and then Andre Drummond would play the 5. So, mainly the only change out of that lineup is Andre Drummond subbing in for Joel Embiid. Assuming Joel Embiid is going to be ruled out, which he likely is, just to rest his ankle and his knee. Mainly the whole knee needs rest for Joel, but mainly the ankle because that's where the most history has been for Joel. So, rest Joel tonight. Give him at least the next 3 games off. So, that's probably about a week. Give him a week off. Hopefully, he'll have enough strength to recover. And hopefully, he would play that game against the, as of now, undefeated Chicago Bulls. Who have looked really decent. And hopefully, Andre Drummond will honestly not have to handle Nikola Vucevic. And let's just pray for Joel Embiid's safety to make sure he gets back to full strength as soon as possible. But I don't want to rush the man. But Joel, we're going to need you back on that court, buddy. So... Get back as soon as you can and be ready to go, hopefully against the Bulls. If not, hopefully Drummond will take over that spot and will be able to execute, especially tonight and the next few games we have going forward. You guys give your thoughts down below in the comments section. Do you think Joel Embiid should start tonight? Should we rest Joel Embiid? Should, should, how long should Joel Embiid rest for? You guys give me your thoughts down below in the comments section. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Go Sixers.